Hi, and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. Today we're doing the part two of comping with Samplitude, and we will explore uh, comping some multi-track recording, uh, namely a full drum uh, with uh, many tracks. So uh, let's dive in right away. All right, let's start with exploring a few things that I learned while uh, going around comping features in Samplitude Pro X4. Um, the first thing that I learned is that, as in the first video, if you click on any track uh, and you get a selection, you can right click and go into Select Takes and Take Composer. Uh, what it does is, it's showing you that specific track. And if you want to listen to a different take, it will only change that track. So if I listen to, uh, to this part, okay. And if I select another take, You see, it's not adding up at all. Uh, my third take, just to see uh, the difference. And it, in the first video, I didn't say that, but uh, if you want to listen to a part, you can uh, make a selection, uh, put a loop, and then listen to each take and decide what uh, you want to hear in your song. So let's uh, just dive for this part. So you see, it does not make sense at all. So to make sense of it, you would need to have all the tracks uh, of your multi-track recording. So I'm gonna hit X and then no, we're not going to replace uh, all the tracks. So one thing we can do is go into uh, takes um, and choose the options and then show all multi-track takes. So if we go back to Take Composer, this is another way to get to it. Uh, then we see all the tracks. So if I play a part, okay. But if I would want to change uh, and select one part, let's say, you see I'm in the cut mode right now. I would need to go and uh, select, let's say, the take two and go through all the take two tracks and make sure I'm not taking a take three track and then let go, but it's not working. So <clears throat> the other way around to, uh, to fix this, because actually the, the solo track is still only one track even if you see all the tracks. So we're gonna go there and remove this, close the Take Composer. No, we're not going to replace the tracks. And we are on our project. Uh, the trait window you get when you record and work on a project. And uh, magic uh, happens right there. Uh, so if I play just a part, Let's say I want to change this part for the other take. What I would do is uh, we can go like this. Oops. And go bigger. So what I can do is select, let's say, this measure. and then hit T uh, to uh, cut uh, the area. So now those are separate part of the same recording, but if I choose uh, this part alone and I click on take two, 
then this part will become take two. So if we listen, Okay, so <clears throat> that's the best way I found to make it easier. Uh, and you can still go and change the, uh, the length of the cuts and the mix uh, that you want to do. And let's say I want a part of, um, of the take three for that measure, let's say. Uh, let's go. So I hit the key t on my keyboard and then i select the area and then choose take three so i'm going to just adjust i'm going to adjust the the range like this and let's let's listen to that part Of course, both uh, all the takes that you do when you cut from one to the other should be uh, mostly on time because uh, if you have differences in the timing, then it will be harder to get a good result. But of course, I could also drag this part to make it more on time if I want or the part going after. I can take that part and move it to make it on time you see one other thing that you can do uh, to make uh, it easier to choose which take uh, that will end up in your song uh, you can it play and choose the take on the fly and listen the difference so uh, maybe I can make a loop. Uh, let's um, choose, whoops, snap to beat. And I can select this, make a loop and play. You see, so if you have uh, mini takes, uh, you can listen to all of them and, and choose which one fits your song better. And then uh, you just uh, save it like that. So I hope you liked this video. Of course, uh, there's a possibility for a part three if you uh, ask some specific questions that uh, leads me to new information to give you. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Comments, of course. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, please subscribe, and share my videos. It's always a great help.